When I was a kid, my grandfather used to tell me stories from before the fallout. Sometimes I skipped my lessons with educational operators and spent hours in the memory museum with him, listening to his tales. He spoke of things that those of us who were born inside Bunker 101 have never seen. The sunlight, the snow, the sea. Stories from a strange world, full of war, pollution, hunger, but beautiful stories as well, like his first date with my grandmother. He invited her himself, because back then you didn't have to ask the dancing club for permission. I wonder how they knew that they were a good match without them. And so he brought her to a place they called Amusement Park. It was full of colorful lights and something they called rides, stuff you could climb on for pure enjoyment. Grandpa took Grandma to ride a huge Ferris wheel, that was the name. When they got to the highest point, the wheel stopped. The sun was setting, sweet music coming in from somewhere below, and he kissed her. I wonder if I will meet my soulmate at this year's ball. Well, we'll see. Anyway, so then they spent the rest of the evening strolling around and they ate ice cream. A kind of sweet, cold paste with energetic values that would make our biological operators faint. And about a month later, they got married in a church, a place where people gathered to pray, kind of like us Duncanists do. When thermonuclear war broke out, they were both technicians working in the bunker, and the bunker saved their lives. They had a child, my father, and they loved each other for the rest of their days. Each morning before taking my daisy pill, I walk by the memory museum to look at the only picture of an amusement park we have left. I think about my dear grandpa, and I say to myself, Come on, citizen. It's a new day, and the community needs you. Honor your life, and be proud of your role. You're a protagonist in the rebirth of the human race. Get to work, and be happy that you're a citizen of Bunker 101.